Hello everybody, Sift here again, and today I'm going to be playing Crown Trick. The game is a turn-based combat roguelike. I haven't played it before, but I saw some footage of it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just begin and see how this goes. There will be a tutorial as far as I know, so uh, let's just go through it as fast as possible, because the tutorial should be explaining things alongside me, obviously. So we also see here some... Uh, loading screen things, classic gameplay, use item, E, nice, good to know. So, loading forever, I want to point up, up, okay, first of all, I, before we begin, wake up for you are chosen. Before we begin, I would like to point out that the gift, the game was gifted to me from, from Butters, my Patreon, his name will be obviously in the Patreon credits in the end, so just pointing that out, because, I mean, it's the minimum I can do. For the dawn will not grace with her presence those who refuse to open their eyes. Who's there? Do -do 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 -do. I'm gonna be do -do 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 all the time. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Uh, move. Okay, space to interact. It was fate that led you to this realm. Now come forward, Ellie. I'm gonna pronounce this Ellie or L. I will say Ellie. How do you know my name? At least you're cautious. Hopefully your ignorance will become tolerated with me. We are currently in the realm of nightmares. Here I am, what humans con would consider omniscient. Omniscient? Omniscient, I guess. I know everything about you, Ellie. Your name, your past, and even the purpose of your little trip to this realm. Nightmares have brought forth disaster and chaos. As futures, as creatures on Earth suffer in endless agony, the world itself is on the brink of destruction. As those, as the chosen hero, you are the one they dumped all the responsibilities onto. You are the one destined to venture into the unknown and save the world. How do you know all this? Are you in cha charge of this nightmare realm? Are you the one causing pain and suffering to the people? I was so eager to arrive at Aranya's conclusions. How typical of your kind. What do you mean, man? You are in the presence of observer and guardian of the nightmare realm. I possess no true name, but you may refer to me as Crown. What a smart name to use. Sorry if I was quick to judge, but it was seemed I was I have important work ahead of me. If you really are what you claim, you must have an idea of the culprit behind all this. Indeed, the nightmares are causing are caused by none other than one of your own. Someone who hurt whose heart is filled with greed, a human by the name of Vlad. You know where he is right now. Patience girl, impulsive will only lead to failure. It all started with the forbidden sacrifice right performed by Vlad in the Nightmare Realm. With its seal broken, the power of Nightmare runs rampant, causing death and destruction, not only in the Nightmare Realm, but in the world as well. Is Vlad a vampire? My powers can no longer contain it. From what I see, you are woefully underprepared as well. Nice. Is there nothing we can do? Does it mean the world's behind saving? Accept. Let's accept. I suppose I could use some help. It's not like you're giving me any other choice. How oh, impressive. That's the wisest thing you could have said since you entered the realm. Now put me on. If you don't mind, let us depart at once. Boop. Space. And, oh, and now I got the crown on me. Curious. It seems that your body has absorbed every single drop of farm provided for you. What? What did you put in me? Such fleeting faith. How fickle the human heart is. We're not so girl. For I. For I have no intentions of doing you any harm. I've simply cast a few spells to further facilitate our journey. You understand in due time. If you say so. Let us go forth, for the fate of both realms now rests in, within our hands. Okay, let's uh, let's start this. So right now it's not visible, but the turn-based has already begun. The Nightmare Realm is a different reality, operating on the different rules from the world. Here, time is relative. It will flow only when you move, so take your time. Sometimes waiting for the enemies to approach can be smarter than foolhardily attacks. This is the most fundamental rule of the Nightmare Realm. You would do well to remember it. I've prepared some simple mechanism ahead. Let's see how you do. Okay, with X we skip turns. Good to know. Oh, I see the, the cube makes half a turn to go over. So we go X. Boom, boom, skip. Boom, boom, skip. Let's go. This reminds me of Necrodancer, although I haven't played Necrodancer. It's Necrodancer without the music. Without actually the necromancer. <laughs> Let's get the spear. Spear the defender. Lands 23 damage. 5% physical. P defense 10. Increased crit chance by 
It doesn't seem like you're strong enough to handle any real weapons yet. Here, let me help you with it for now. Please don't tell me after the tutorial I will be. Your first objective, break those crates. And we can go moving forward. Attack with my left click. Okay, and it seems like I'm attacking at the right. Why would I attack them if I just can't go through them? Seems like me walking is stronger than using the spear. An enemy. Wow, wow, wow. Skip, skip, skip. Move, move. Slam puddle, idle. Attack one, attack two. He got broken, he's toast. I like that I start combat without even uh, learning about combat. Oh, I got hit. Nice. I think that hit was forced. Remember that you can also change direction in place. Sometimes it's a better option than actual movement. What do you mean, remember? Change direction in place. Hold shift. Okay. Good to know. Because as far as I understand, oh, I do under, I do attack towards wherever I am clicking. Good to know. Miss clicks incoming, just so you guys know. I definitely should buy a mouse and a keyboard that doesn't make sound. In actual battle, a valid strategy is to wait in place or do an empty swing to force the flow of time. Enemies will have no choice but to initiate the battle by approaching you. Attack them when they're in range. Skip turn by X. Skipping your turn can sometimes force the enemy to approach, giving you the advantage. Okay, skip, skip. Uh, he's too far away. Skip. One, two. He's broken. Boom, boom, dead. Let's go. <laughs> Imagine us copying, uh, getting a copyright slim for the singing. Here's something you might help find. Well, breaking enemies will make your attacks against them more effective. You can reduce the breakpoint of enemies by dealing damage to them. When an enemy's breakpoint reaches zero, they will be stunned and receive more damage from hits. Boom. And here it says, yeah, the same thing. Okay, boom. Oh, seems like they lose armor when they're next to... I told you I was gonna do some misclicks. I told you. I told you so. As a YouTuber I'm watching says. But who is it? Who am I referring to? Let's go off. Did it. An archer. Chasing. Enemy is more vulnerable when it's charging or being around you. Okay, that's why the pup had less defense. Then you can break them quicker. Minus two or even minus three. This guy is minus two right now. Oop. So break and kill. Just because they did try to attack me. So minus two, break and kill. My minus two. So if I press W, is, is I'm, am I gonna attempt to walk? Okay. At least now we know. And I also saw there was a 2 on the ground, so we have to remember that. A 2 and then it, being a, it became a 1. Space interaction. The bottle contains water for the fabled healing fountain. A sip from it, the elixir will do wonders for your vitality. Hold F to sip elixir. Boom, full life. Oh, look at these dancy dudes. Oh, and they even leave when you approach them. And is that the same? Oh. Can I kill the flowers? Yes, I can. I'm evil. I'm evil already. Let's go. Okay, let's go to the next one. Use item E. Okay, good to remember. Loading screens, loading screens. Sitting here. Walk, dancey dudes. And we found some boots. No. Actually, -na 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 -na. these are called Blink Boots, which will allow you to move to specific location instantly. However, their usage is limited to planet well. Blink with right click. Uh, oh, I have to hold it. Okay. And then uh, if I press it very far away, it cancels. Blink. Release space. Cancel. What do you mean release space? I just press right click and then it's not oh it's uh i thought i was holding it okay got my blinks back scorch received fire damage obviously blink is also useful when ellie needs to get the cross block tiles or as for mental infinities scorch received fire damage equal to percent of your max hp every turn health effect of the character 
Half the effect on play character, so 4% for me. Let's blink over there. Let's blink over there too. Let's go. Easy peasy. These puzzles, low. Enemies are dying from flame without me even doing anything. There is uh, money here, right? Oh, the money, for the money fell onto that space. So will I be able to avoid my the flames now that I used all my blinks? Doesn't really look like it. Weak as my powers are right now, I can still replenish the energy of your blink boots. Though only while we are here, not the fringe of nightmares. You'll be on your own later on. Wait, are we now on the fringes? On the fringe? Or did he mean that when we arrive at the fringe? This guy died to death by burn and then uh, <laughs> spread the burn even more. What a, what a champ. Ooh, it's a dragon. Familiars are stronger than, stronger than normal enemies. Pay extra attention when you're dealing with them. Okay, let's go fight a familiar. A fire breather. Uh, I'm gonna assume these are gonna chain. You better be scared of the lava explosion will be generated by destruction. And this was a lie. You got it for a bunch. Let's explode the other side too. Boop, 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 boop. And then the enemy will attack us in one round. That's what this thing means. So I'm gonna blink away and also stay close to him. Oh, nice. Blinking doesn't uh, doesn't make the game move. So now I can even attack him. He will take break damage boop, while also staying within the fire. And I will break him while he still stays in the fire. And he's toast. We are getting hit by the useless enemies and we're not getting hit by the elites. Very nice. Not bad at all. Remember, in the Nightroom Realm, defeated familiars will be yours to command. Uh, let's uh, just make some rounds pass. I have to remember that I can pass rounds with X. Fire Breather. Uh, jets fire, dealing it 5 fire damage to targets within 3 vertical ties and generate fire. And this thing is... And it costs 30 MP, 2 cooldown, 50 MP, 6 cooldown, place an explosive barrel, which will explode if attacked, dealing 145 damage. Lava damage to 3x3 three three area and generates fire. So uh, this is pretty much a setup thing. This is just throw it out, do some damage, you're good to go. Is, is the barrel... Does the barrel have an extremely high range or something? Oh, it has. So nice, good to know. Okay, I can uh, chain fire here. Let's uh, Let's make them come inside. What does this do? Grease elemental taking damage by 50%. Okay. Burn! Boom, 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 boom. He got toasted and he's running. This guy got toasted. These guys just uh, suicide into the flames. So my question here is, uh, are the enemies always gonna be, you know, stupid? Obviously, give me a second. Decent performance, but you still have a long way to go. Don't get cargy. Why not? It was a win. I take the wins. Because it's an insidious killer. Overconfidence. Alex obtains zero. Is there no damage taken? <laughs> Total score three shy of a thousand. So, are the enemies always gonna move predictably no matter what's happening around the game? We that's a thing I should learn. Here we are. What is this place? The Hall of Reincarnation. You may think of it as a safe room, or you may think of it as a roguelike mechanic. But, in between different realms of nightmares, previous to the chaos unfolding outside here, we will be able to travel to other dreamlands and resolve the anomalies within. And how do you propose we do that? There are no doors outside, basically trapped here. Uncontrolled naivete is but what the same of ignorance. Do humans dream by entering a door? We will be able to travel unfazed within the dream realms by falling asleep. As simple as that. I suggest you try it by the desk in a bit. So you go to the desk and sleep. Okay, seems like nothing is unlocked. Yeah, okay. Let's go sleep. What's this? Day one, realm of nightmares. Waking up in the nightmare realm by all by itself. Ellie, Ellie encounters a strange crown. Uh, that is what just happened. According to him, the disaster affecting both realms, well, some villain named Duke Vlad, now he's definitely a vampire. The Duke is now laying low somewhere within the nightmares, defeating him seems to be the only way. Okay, let's go. I, I, sh I thought I was gonna sleep on the couch. 
Electricity will paralyze targets, making it impossible to perform normal attacks. Okay, electricity stun then. Lava tiles will deal large amounts of lava damage. Okay, good to remember that. And here we are. And these are our weapons. Tower of Sinners. So, let's first get a weapon and then interact with this because uh, it might be... Might uh, make me not choose weapons. I don't know. Spear of Orange Star is 23 damage. Receive a damage buff when continuously dealing normal attack damage. When continuously. Okay. Receive a damage. Receive debuff when continuously receiving normal attack damage. Well, cannot be knocked back. Well, this thing is pretty much uh, do more and take more. Axe of Salty Waters. And this also attacks around me. Why, why am I not in the middle of the screen here while here I am? 17 applies drench to all attack targets increase critical damage by 20% let's take this that's not that risky so uh pick this up oh i can have both Woo, swingy swingy while this is just a slide let's let's go for the fishy attack just because it's drenching my enemies i don't know what that means let's interact with the crystal fire breather let's pick my fire breather up i'm uh there is a high chance that burning plus Drenching is not gonna combo, but I do not care. Is this breakable? We already found gold. Yeah. Min maxing right off the bat. What is this? Oh, this can also be stepped on. An ordinary wooden box with two gold in it. We got 10 gold, guys. Let's pack it up. It's that much more valuable outside of the dream. 200 mana when we stepped in. Good to know. Uh, skip turn. Doesn't do anything. These guys are straight up blind. Melee, minus three. Is he gonna attack us? He did actually attack us, so the weapon is really melee. If I go down, am I gonna avoid him? I am. I can zigzag him around. Yeah, this guy's gonna get hit too. Boop, this guy got broken. Whenever you break an enemy, it will be able to absorb part of its power and channel to it. If you are to somehow break another enemy before that power diminishes, we will be able to keep the circuit if you may r running and accumulate more velocity and power. Not only will you be stronger, but blink boots will be replenished as well. Nice. Therefore, it is to our mutual benefit that enemies be consecutively broken in battle. Fight as hard as your human body allows, girl. Okay, so I'm gonna move and then I'm gonna attack. Boom, this guy broke too. Uh, let's kill him actually. Let's uh, blink boot over here. Bop, broken, and dead. And I also got a 50% damage boost because of that. The plus one are crystals. I'm gonna assume these crystals are like a meta currency or something. When enemy is broken, elite breakouts will go fill up. The further the gauge is, the higher Elis attack. Blink uses can also be replenished by filtering the gauge. Uh, I didn't check what the stats effect is. I'm gonna check it now. Magic Goat Idle. So I'm gonna be attacking enemies in corners whenever possible so that their next move is gonna come close to me. Stunned, okay. Break, okay. Drenched, physical damage taken plus 50%. Oh, drenched is pretty decent then. Let's, uh. Let's blink over there. Well, that's not happening. Let's first move then. Blink over here. Strike the frog. Blink over here. Strike both of them. Strike this again. Break it. And now we got every charge, every blink charge back. Nice. How many can I have for those? Blink to a position within four tiles. That consuming turn. Wait, this thing does not have a max stack? Well, what's exactly happening? And uh, let's open this up. Uvla port. Money, money, money. And a relic. Your first normal attack when entering a room will be increased by 100%. Okay. Just so that I let you know, I will be constantly monitoring your stats during our journey and recover, record everything you see within the different realms. If you forget anything, just come by me. Okay, so this guy is also character info, relics, blueprints, items, the fire breather. Skills, everything. Crit damage, crit chance, dodge chance. Do we have a 5% dodge chance? So we have to remember channeling our uh, our luck <laughs> when we are at death's door. These contraptions called waypoints are most common in the Nightmare Realm. They will be ready to use when lightened. Okay, so tap to use a blinking and off we blinked. 
into the crown we go, off to the blink we appear. Let's go to the bottom. What is this? Although familiar skills and blink have proven to be very useful, you might hesitate to use them sometimes when you're low on MP or blink usages. It's perhaps human nature to worry without reason, but fear not in my presence. For I will fully replenish your MP and blink usages every time you enter battle in a new area. Focus on defeating the enemies in front of you instead. Okay, that is something that I actually care about. So uh, let's always use everything then. That's what I understand with what was just said. This guy seems to be really close to knowing where I am. Let's move. Everybody's coming close. I cannot really attack that. But I think I can combine those two abilities. If they come to my left... How big is this explosion? 3 times 3. If I place this here, then this is gonna explode. Let's uh, let's see if the enemies are dumb. Actually, this is not gonna be a free round, so let's place it down. Boom, they move. Uh, my flame cone goes up there, so skip a turn. And now explosion. Boom. Oh, I thought it was gonna chain. Oh, the enemies are actually not stupid. Good to know. Let's uh, skip a turn. Let's, uh, I was gonna blink over there. Let's go to the right. Let's blink to this corner. Attack this guy. Next turn, you cannot avoid it. Get stunned. You come closer. Get stunned. You're toast. We got a blink. Always blink into corners. I'm not gonna blink there because I'm gonna get hit. Blink over here. Hit one. Stunned. Done. Easy peasy. Okay, I'm, I'm digging this. I really like this. And maybe the weapon is not the best choice. I have to always remember to try to get into corners. Let's also go top. Yep, I knew that top wasn't... It's, it's the classic RPG elements of, you know, you find the right way and then go back. And then you go forth and back and forth and back until you find the wrong way. <laughs> this is the wrong way. The boy who lies. The rusty robot and the shape of a young boy turns to you. Its nose almost long enough to poke you in the eye. Hey there, friend. Everyone tells me that I need to stop lying in order to be a real boy and shrink my nose. But don't they see? Lies make the world go round. You think so too, don't you? Are you that lies don't... No, I want to have another choice. Oh, I have two choices. Uh, you need not know your disdain so quickly. Another friend of mine, well, ex-friend of mine, the cells... He sells all kinds of strange items, Dream Realm. I've lied to him one too many times, and forgive me, how many tiny favors by telling him I've perished in this endless maze. I'm sure he will be delighted as to have a sale in celebration. Accept the necessity of lives, obtain 25% off discount next time you encounter the merchant, deny the necessity of lives. Uh, accept the necessity of lives. I would say... And uh, let's see if this is gonna have repercussions for the game. Also, I would like to know if I blink in this mode. Well, let's just continue. Oh no, I'm a warning you. Don't come close. I don't care. Let's go into the corner to attack the pup. Boop. 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 Nobody survives. The onslaught of the fish. Fish weapon. Is that a beard? Is that a beard? That's a bunch. You knew some were safe around here. Please take me with you. I'm sure skills can be somehow useful. But still, I'm warning you. Do not come in closer. Let's get everything. What is this? A blueprint. Can't air. Can't air. Nice. Looks like a blueprint to me. Is that blueprint a relic? Do we need to do a specific blacksmith for these? <laughs> Don't forget that we're in the realm of dreams and fiction. Certain anomalies result in the malleability of the fabric which with 10 years was created. There is a special recovery device next to the merchant in the dream, dream realms dimension. Have in their blueprints there and the things will appear in the next dream. Or nightmare. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, somewhere safe around here. Can I come close to you? Interact. Nice. Thanks a bunch. Somewhere safe around here. Please take me with you. I'm sure my skills can be useful somehow. Take her. Okay, I can't attack her. Imagine if she got hit and then uh, we, we, we went down the ba bad path. We are already down the bad path because I am lying. Do, 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 do. Guys, no. Summon a random weapon. Yes. I can choose the weapon. So it's not a random weapon. It, it It's a lie. So I had the choice for this. Forget that. After a blink, gain 5 shield for 3 turns. Hmm, nice. From water damage, go to physical. 
from water damage go to physical from water i think i have a passive that says that my physical damage i do more physical damage in the beginning this is the same thing like the one i have plus three damage though minus two spell i don't care about spells gain five physical defense for each enemy in your weapon attack range cannot be knocked back i like this attacks will not immediately deal damage instead explosion will be triggered in a three by three square area in the direction of the attack one turn later so this is attack and run attack and run let's go for this it's the same thing like the one i have so let's pick this thing up uh let's oh, confirm so give me a second let's let me reread my relic normal attack ah your first normal attack is gonna do more damage not my first water attack and drenched is that the enemies take 20% more damage, right? So uh, let's keep drenching. Let's keep drenching. Although it actually does not combo with my... My first attack is gonna do double damage, I said. Oh! A swashcluckler. He's weak to physical. Good to know. Good to know. Is chasing? What, what do you think you're doing? Let's place... It's already too late. Let's run down. Okay, now I can place the bomb here. Explosion. Boom. Uh, run left. Boop, attack. He's not attacking me, right? Can I zigzag him? I can always zigzag people. Yeah, let's zigzag him. Let's go to the frog. While zigzagging this guy, and now I can attack the frog with him together. He is about to attack me, but no, you got stunned. And now I go to the right, stun the other frog too, continue gaining my damage boost, continue attacking, continue attacking. He will attack in the next round, which I don't care. Let's go in a corner blink, because corner blink will make the enemy. Oh, he's about to attack, so let's avoid that. Oop. He's gonna do something. Oh, that's a normal attack. The only thing I have to watch out are normal attacks, I guess. I I have to find out when they are going to do normal attacks, and then we when they are straight up just sitting there doing nothing. Your toast too. And we got a chest. And we got another pet, I guess. What is this? Move Scorch debuff and grants immunity to Scorch for three turns. Okay, pick this up. What you've picked up will certainly help us in the future. Keep it for a rainy day. Okay. Use items. Uh, some items can be used with E or Q, I guess. Q might be rotating and E is using, I guess. I think. Let's open the chest. Uvla chest. Relic lock. Locks of Oniros. Oniros. Dream. Summon a random relic. Still not random. So we got, I guess, two rares and one uh, common. When using a skill, there is a 20% chance that the MP cost will be reduced by 100%. So, free skill casting. The more enemies in combat there are in the room, the more P defense will be raised. Okay. And continuously using the same skill reduces the MP cost of the skill by 20%. 20% uh, chance to cost 0 or... I will go for 20% chance to cost 0 because uh, mathematically speaking, these two should be the same. But uh, this is for everything, while this is only if I cast the same thing. Uh, math checks out. Trust me. Uh, deals minor electricity damage to one tile within a 5-5 dimension, paralyzing affected areas. Okay, let's pick this thing up too. Yeah, Q is rotating items. Let's also pick up my next pet. Over here, what do you do? I guess complete for now. I have enhanced your capability so that you may use the skill of two familiars at once. This way we might have a better shot at Vlad. Pretty sure he's lying. Oh, water is actually drenching the fires. Let's uh, let's hope this thing actually matters. So my question is, as you can see here on the map, there is something here. Well, let's recheck this for half a second. Gain P defense for. Let's pick this up for half a second. This is the same thing, uh, with the difference being increased crit damage with 100%. Apply drenched. I think applying drenched is uh, is more important. Improving, the, uh, making the enemies take 20% more damage. But it is countering my burn. Yeah, let's uh, let's not apply drench. Just because I burn the enemies. Because I'm doing a burn run. Let's go for this. Might not be a good idea, but whatever. Whatever. 
I should also go for a bit more ranged attacks because right now I can only explode my barrels with my second skill. What is this? Shift back two tiles and shoot boomerang forward 63 wind damage to the target and instantly launch four attacks on targets within two vertical tiles. Deal 21 physical damage each time. Okay. And uh, what is this? Another familiar crystal. Did I disable it? Is that a one-use thing? This is a one-use thing. You have to remember that. This is an elite. Let's go into the gray room. Oh, it's a fight. Throw the barrel over there. And explosion it. I don't think I need to explosion it. I can blink up there, can I? Yes, I can blink up here. I think both of them will not attack because they didn't know that I was here normally. Yes, that was correct. Everybody's getting stunned. Boop. Nobody's escaping. Bam. Everybody's dead. Easy peasy. What is this broom? It's nothing. The broom is a visual effect. Good to know. Moving through crates. Moving through crates. The question is, are there secret rooms? Seems like they're not. Actually, I'm pretty sure there are secret rooms, but I don't know how you find them. Let's maybe go to the... Actually, now that we are here, let's just continue. I think this is the wrong path. This is not the wrong path. I lied. We found another familiar, even. Fire trap. Fire trap that ejects flames every three turns, making its target scorched. Okay, it's gonna burn in a bit. Yeah, let's, uh, let's try to bring the boss over the trap. Can I place the barrel here? Yes. Go to the left. Burn the enemy. Boom. Is this guy gonna attack or what exactly is gonna happen? Oh, now he's gonna attack. So, pop, you're dead. What is this? What? Oh, it's a mage over there. Let's blink over there and kill the mage. One, two. Yeah, I think this guy's gonna attack us. I'm not sure though. So, let's just attack. He did attack us. I still don't know how you learn if they are gonna attack you or not. Let's go for the multi attack thing skill. Boop, 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 boop. One more get stunned. You stay in the flame, my dude. You stay in the flame. Place the bomb behind them and burn him while also exploding the burn. Attack him twice more. He's toast. We lost a bunch of HP, but it's okay. I I don't know if there is an animation which I'm not seeing. Maybe a sword appears above them or something. I, I obviously see the animation on the ground. Maybe there wasn't an animation exactly below me and I didn't see it. Summon a relic. Blue, blue, blue. Element exploration skill. It's nice that you also know about what it is. For every five skills you use, the MP cost of the next skill is going to be less. Nice. When using an item, there is a 25% chance it's not consumed. Also nice. 15% chance to paralyze attackers when hit by a normal attack. When I get hit, they get paralyzed. Mm, this is defense. This is... Uh, I'm not using items often. So uh, let's just go for defensive passive. 50% chance is pretty okay. It's not extremely high. Obviously, that might not have been a good passive. And I should be blinking more because I had 7 blinks in that fight. So, what do you do? Summon a ranged servant. Chance. Also, I should have used this skill. Summon a ranged servant. Chance to summon an elite ranged servant. Only one servant can exist at a time. So, this is always have a servant pretty much. I like this. I like this. Apply a shield of flames for self and all minions. Instantly gaining 40, 40 HP shield. Nice. While the shield is active, all attacks enemies will be scorched. Also nice. Let's... Uh, Let's go for this, actually. Let's pick up Adon up. Let's throw... I like my dragon. I'm using it a lot. So let's let's throw away the... The Klako guy. I don't even remember. I already forgot his name. What is this? This is access to the elite room. The boss room, I guess. So let's, uh, let's go to the boss room. Now that we have uh, someone to... Is this the boss room? Or is it the end of the dungeon? It is the boss room. First boss, Tria. So I guess the number three in Greek. Okay, she's about to cast, I guess. Weak, chasing, poison. Ah, maybe maybe I can see at the top what she is going to do. Chasing now. Poison immunity, immune to poison guard. So let's summon my, my, my ranged unit right away. Let's summon him over here, I guess. I hope he's going to help. Chasing immune to poison. I think she summoned herself too. 
Let's go on top. Place a bomb. What are you gonna do? Explode it. Boom. The left side is burning. Yeah, now what? Is this an enemy? This is an enemy. Toxic Menagerie Magic Sphere. Chasing. Poison Fuse vanished when the cooldown reaches zero, leaving a 3x3 area of poison. So we just run from that. Let's, uh, what do you think you're doing? Let's blink over here. Yes. And burn this. Boom, you are gonna burn to death. My archer is a genius. My mana is done. What are you doing? Fire element, any target? No. Uh, what are you doing? Chasing. She's still chasing? She, she seems to be casting. Chasing seems to be a lie. Maybe I should have gone in. I can now not put the fire out anymore. She's gonna attack my ally. She's still burning. My ally died. Uh, let's stay away from these fears. So, pass. 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 And now we attack. Now we attack. Uh, she's still chasing, so... Whoop. She's gonna hit us, so just move down as simple as that this is gonna be a hard pass she's summoning something over here so let's just move to the left attack it attack her she hit us i still don't know how we can know what she's gonna do do we have anything here so remove scorch debuff q let's electrocute her up your peril she did not get paralyzed and i will get hit for sure so let's blink over here in a corner and hit you missed hit again corner attack i think she's gonna strike us but i don't understand when i can know that hit then oh i'm gaining mana too so uh i guess someone an archer someone an archer over there here i will get hit most likely Oh, I did not. So, she's not even gonna hit me as far as I know. I cannot uh, see my ground space. Please don't tell me I'm gonna hit my allied unit. I did not. My allied unit broke her barrier. So, now we go off the rails and start burning her first. And now we go attack. Attack. The arrow guy is helping me out. Attack, attack. Let's uh, set up the shield. Apply shield flames, self and all minions. Yes. Boom. 40 HP shield to me and her. She is still stunned. She just removed her stun. She's just summoning. I don't care. I can break the summons regardless. She attacked me. I think I should go to the left and break the sphere. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's have some spaces to move. I'm gonna get hit by the air attack, but I don't really care. What does air do? Maybe I should have cared. Silence. Unable to cast skills. I don't care. Hit her diagonally. Her next move is not gonna be an attack, I think. So let's just attack her. It is an attack. I still don't know how I realize what she's gonna do. So uh, attack again. Yeah, she's still normal attacking. Let's uh, let's go the the cross maneuver. The classic one two cross maneuver, and uh, summon an archer. Because why not? Let's have him at the opposite side of myself. Now I can hit her from the corner. Now she's stunned and this is a win. I just go for the kill. Yeah, this is definitely a win. No questions asked. Maybe even set up the shielding. Boom. Still stunned. Still stunned. And she's dead. No longer Yan. We got it. active. Unlocked pistols. New weapon type discovered. Pistols can now be obtained during adventures. New weapon that discovered. Staves can now be... Staves? Staffs? Staves? Unlock relic, legendary relics are unlocked and can be obtained. Any other adventurers and warriors before you have left their mark in this world. You said I was chosen, man. Their legendary weapons are scared across the Nightmare Realm. I want to also have a legendary weapon, okay? If you don't... Mine, I mean, created by me. That's what I mean. You don't like your current weapon. There are plenty of others to choose from. To face vicious enemies, you have to choose your weapon carefully. V various uh, rare relics are hidden across the nightmare realm left by warriors of the past if they are really that precious shouldn't we try to return them to their owners it's been deca decades decades or even centuries since their visit i don't think it's necessary anymore 
you, they're dead. Use them in your fight against the powers of Nightmare. They That's the original purpose of existence after all. Let's see what we find. A bunch of... Da -da -da -da. Gold money, gold money. First we pick up the money, then we pick up stat scroll. Can enhance the stats. I will first see what I found. I found a pistol of sparkling flames. Uh, less damage. It's uh, uncommon though, it's green. Continue to use normal attacks against one target to improve the trigger rate for scorched effect. For each bullet shot, increase attack by 3. Remove the pawn manually reloading. So it's gonna be three. Okay, what what does uh, continue to use normal attacks against target to improve the target rate of scorch effect? I can burn enemies randomly. Let's just pick up the weapon. In the training grounds, dream fragments. Fragments permanently different dream realms filled with nostalgia and fun. It doesn't seem like there's an actual use to them. Pick this up. Dream fragment. In the training ground, Ellie. Oof, too much reading. Uh, I see you sneaked into the training grounds again. Sorry, Instructor Cassandra. All these girls are warriors too? Correct. Soon they will enter the dream realm to fight the nightmares. But they look just about my age. Unfortunately so. However, such is their destiny. Will I be able to join them one day? You are indeed my most talented pupil. However, oh, it makes me sad. So sad inside. Whenever another team of warriors is lost. You are too kind, little... Oh. Uh, okay, well... You are too kind, little Ellie. Perhaps your destiny is already set in stone. Check progress. Okay, it's a story mode. And we found Snap of Robust Gales. First of all, boom, boom, boom. Am I losing HP or something? What is this? Increase the attack by 3, max 5 stacks, remove the pawn manually reloading. It's not that I'm mad. Oh, the, the last two shots go off together. So it's 1, 2, and then bam, boom, 2, 2. Nice. But is this a single target pistol? Because if it's a single target pistol, I don't know if it's a good idea to pick it up. Anyway, each hit has a 50% chance to cast Wind Blade on three tiles behind the target and silence. Let's uh, let's just look at that. Is the 50% gonna come anytime soon? Doesn't look like it. Seems like I have to be attacking enemies. Only Ross. Relic. Legendary. When using a skill, there's a 25% chance to recast on the same target. Not really good the way I'm playing right now. Element. When you deal critical hit to an enemy, they will also receive one random elemental stats condition. I like this. Skills also have a chance to apply crit. I like this too. Let's go for this. Um, yeah, let's go for this. I, I will try to go the summoner route. So let's definitely go for this. And the reason the double cast is not useful because summoning twice doesn't work. Plus 3 attack or plus 3 skill power. Let's go for plus 3 attack. Fixed bonuses. Oh, I get plus 3 attack and also 3 attack, 5 uh, skill power with 2 defense and 2 E. Nice. Shooting. I'm pretty sure shooting is gonna be single target, but I wanted to try the weapon, so... I don't care. Can I see my stats? I have a 5% crit chance. I would like to up my crit chance for this relic to be relevant. So uh, let's uh, let's go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna cut the video off here. And uh, continue the run on my next one. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's split this up in parts. And if I die instantly on the next run, I will just start a new one right away. So, uh, yeah. First of all, let's uh, let's summon my little dude. Just to have some ally here. <laughs> and uh, let's um, end the run over here. So, if you like the content, I guess uh, drop a like to help out the channel. And also comments about me continuing this or not are also very welcome. Because I want to have some opinions about the matter. I will obviously end this run. And uh, then I will decide if I will continue running this or not. But it seems to be a nice game. And it really seems to be in the um, el el in the spirit of this channel and me. I, I like turn-based combat things and explaining things. I might be a bit slow. I'm not really playing extremely fast. But I try to play as good as possible. So let's also drink a potion here. Oop, we are full. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today. So thanks for watching. And see you guys around.